of our predictions for the future of the Earth's climate are tied down to how well we understand the oceans. You know, we have satellites going around the planet and they tell us a great deal of information about the surface, but then we have thousands of meters of water which we don't know anything about. It's fascinating for me, the ocean, with all the power in it. It's incredible. I don't know. There's something about it that makes you feel so insignificant. You're just a tiny blip on the geological timeline, more or less, you know. We are going to the North Atlantic, and the North Atlantic is part of a huge circulation called the Atlantic Meridional Overturning Circulation. The ocean gets heated at the equator, and the energy then goes from the equator to other areas of the world. And that cools down. It gives the warmth of the water to the atmosphere. That's why we have a warmer summer in Europe. But then this water gets colder and it sinks down to the bottom. Then it turns back towards the equator. The whole question is if this overturning circulation is weakening with climate change. One of the drivers of this system is the formation of Arctic sea ice. This is, of course, changing rapidly at the moment. There's less Arctic sea ice every year. The climate is changing, and it is changing as a direct consequence of human activities on this planet. If we want to be able to predict how it's going to get worse, and who's going to need to move, which species we're going to have to protect, then we really need to care about measurements like this. Taking observations at the sea, I think, is very challenging. <laughs> uh, you really have to love this. We've had some quite big waves. We were in this room and sliding all over the floor. It's hard and you get tired, but on the other hand, you do it with joy. We should care about this because it determines our life. This will affect hundreds of millions of people who are living at the coast on all continents. And this is why we have to care for this.